to watch the latest from India Science don't forget to subscribe to the channel and press on the bell icon to get notifications on all the science related videos Much anticipated Holi is just around the corner. Come March 28, people will gather on the streets painting the town red, pink, yellow, indigo, green, thereby marking the arrival of the festival of colors. Hello and Namaskar, I am Bhagishri and you are watching SciTech. Have you wondered what colors are and why do we see them? We'll tell you in our video. It is breathtaking to watch the beautiful sunset as the skies turn coral pinks, reds and oranges. I'm sure we all agree that the colors make life beautiful. Aesthetics aside, specific colors are believed to elevate mood and creativity, affect emotions and hence decision making. It also helps animals find food and shelter and escape predators by blending in with nature or camouflaging. Colors are everywhere and yet we don't often think about the science behind them. Aristotle was one of the first people to put forth a theory to explain colors. He believed that God sent colors in the form of rays of light. This theory remained unchallenged for over 2000 years until Isaac Newton came into the picture. In 1665, Newton brought in some scientific rigor to his theory. In a series of experiments, he showed that a glass prism splits sunlight or white light into seven colors – red, orange, yellow, green, blue, indigo and violet. Since then, we have learned that light travels as waves moving up and down. A wavelength of light is the distance between two successive ups or crests or two downs or troughs of the wave. And each color has different wavelength. For example, violet has the shortest wavelength at around 380 nanometers and red has the longest wavelength at about 700 nanometers. The other colors lie between this range. But why does a rose appear red? This is because the flower reflects light at 700 nanometers or the red light more strongly than other colors. The same goes for the sea. It appears blue because it reflects blue light. So when the red light enters the human eye, it activates the light detecting cells called cones sitting in the back of the eye. The cones are specifically tuned in to detect wavelengths that range between 380 to 700 nanometers, also called the visible spectrum. You must have read that red, blue and green are the three primary colors. This is because our eyes are home to three types of cone cells corresponding to either red, yellow or green. In other words, the red light activates the red cone, which then alerts the brain. You must also be familiar with the fact that red and green combines to form yellow. Colors change as temperatures drop or rise. We see that happen with stars. The sun's surface temperatures reach as high as 5500 degrees centigrade. As a result, it appears yellow. A star named Betelgeuse is reddish because its surface is cooler at 3000 degrees centigrade. Another stellar body, Regal, is blue because it logs 12000 degrees centigrade, according to NASA. I hope you have got the hang of the science behind colors. Do share the video with your friends before painting the town red, pink or yellow this holy. Moving on to our next story. Many moons ago, our ancestors used natural colors to celebrate Holi. As time went by, we replaced them with synthetic chemicals. Did you know these chemicals can be rough on our skin? Fortunately, we can fix this problem by looking no further than our kitchens. Find out more in our video.
Holi marks the end of spring and the beginning of summer. Our ancestors celebrated the festival with colors extracted from natural sources like turmeric, neem and palas. They believed these colors could do wonders to our skin, making our faces glow. हम कलर्स लगाते हैं तो ये हमारे मूड को भी अपलिफ्ट करता है और पहले के ज़माने में अगर आप देखें तो ऐसे कलर्स बनाए जाते थे जो कि हर्ब से बनते थे जड़ी बूटियों से बनते थे फूलों से बनते थे और ये जब शरीर पे लगाए जाते थे तो इनका कुछ फ़ायदा भी होता था और इससे जो है शरीर को अच्छा इफ़ेक्ट मिलता था और अब लेकिन ज़रूर हम सिंथेटिक कलर्स यूज़ करने लगे लेकिन पहले धारणा होली के पीछे यही थी एट सम पॉइंट वी स्विच to synthetic colors available in the market the colors however don't go easy on our skin and for some of us the aftermath is painful think allergies irritation leading to chronic skin eczemas why are synthetic chemicals bad news for our skin they contain toxic chemicals such as lead oxide diesel chromium iodine and copper sulfate which can cause skin rashes allergies pigmentation frizzy hair and eye irritation For example, green might contain copper sulfate which can irritate the eye and cause temporary blindness too. Purple might have chromium iodide which is linked to bronchial asthma and allergies. Manufacturers might add mercury sulfide to red and aluminum bromide to silver, both of which are carcinogenic. Blue might contain skin rash causing Prussian blue and black might have lead oxide, a chemical known to trigger renal failure and learning disabilities this does not mean that you should give colors a miss we have safer options hiding in your kitchen shelves to make yellow mix turmeric basin and water green will need either henna or palak if you want to include red in your festivities just soak onion peel or hibiscus flowers in water overnight and your color is ready you can use beetroot to make magenta These natural colors will not only keep you safe but could also make your skin glow. Now who wouldn't want that? Have a safe and happy holy. That's all for this episode of SciTech. You can send us your valuable feedback on the email ID flashing on your screens. Also download India Science app or visit our website www.indiascience.in for more such videos. Don't forget to follow us on our social media handles as well. Before signing off, here is fact of the day for you. Human eyes perceive light ranging in wavelengths between 380 nanometers and 700 nanometers, also called the visible spectrum. It is a small part of the electromagnetic spectrum, the range of light we cannot see. Wavelengths shorter than 380 nanometers include the UV, X-rays, gamma rays and cosmic rays. Those beyond 700 nanometers include infrared radiation rays, microwaves and radio waves.